Serious what do you need to get off your chest right now? I'm really not doing too good. My mental health is worse than I'll let others know. Let someone close to you know if it's really bad, like thinking about hurting self slash others. Find someone professional. Life has its ups and downs, and for some downs you need a ladder. I tried that once. Got accused of making things up for attention, because if you really were suicidal, you wouldn't be telling us. Came very close to killing myself, but ended up giving up due to lack of resources. Ironic how my depression stopped me from doing the very thing my depression world of caused me to do. I lost 60 pounds so far, but I've been spiraling the past month with bad eating choices and not exercising anymore. I'm terrified of gaining all the weight back, but I feel so drained and lifeless lately. I need to do whatever I can to muster up the will to keep losing weight. Maybe don't focus on losing right now and instead focus on maintaining. If you're concerned with gaining, based on your current actions then maintaining would be a win, right? Life is hard right now and sometimes we need to set different goals to accommodate the things we can't control. Maybe start with some meal planning. Or a walk every day. Or increase water intake. A single change can make all the difference. I find that once I gain hold of one thing, no matter how small, my confidence grows and I can take on other things. Give yourself a little grace, you can do this. Great and simple advice. Like, so simple why the heck have I not thought of it like that? Lately, most days I run on autopilot. The only thing that keeps me going is the idea that if I were to die, my wife would be in shambles. Not to say that she can't provide for herself, she's totally capable of that. But if I were gone, then she'd be an absolute mess and unable to care for herself. I'm so worn out that I don't look forward to waking up every day. I don't like letting others see me be weak, so I try to maintain a facade of resiliency. Gotta be a pillar of support for those who need it more than I do. Hey buddy it'll get better, have you tried talking to her about this? You both are in this together and support each other. She knows I have some less than optimal mental health. Days. I have a hypoctive thyroid gland, and from what my doctors tell me it's likely the cause behind these emotions. I take medicine to pick up the slack of my thyroid, but some days it isn't enough. Still, I don't like telling her all the details, because in my heart of hearts I want to be strong for her. My estranged mother has sent me emails that she is going to kill herself on my birthday and that I don't love her. I can't keep contact with her because I don't have the capacity to handle her mental illness and don't want to fear if she will try to strangle me again. It still hurts to read those emails because I gave up so much to take care of her and my little sister. Speaking as someone who has recently cut ties with their mother, again, you can't fix her. We hurt and feel guilty because it's our mothers. At the end of the day we need to do what's best for us first, but we still grieve the relationship we wish we had. I've decided to think it like this, if she were anyone else in my life, treating me the way she does, anyone would tell me to let her go and they would be right. If you haven't already, I would suggest putting the MLs in one folder. When you're ready, maybe next week, maybe 10 years, they'll be there. And if you feel okay about it, maybe forward the MLs to a social worker you know in her town. They may be able to get her help, and you at least will have the feeling that you did your best to stop her from self-harm. Even if you don't do that though, it's not your responsibility. She has her own agency and you have your own life. I lost my emotionally abusive mother to sudden heart failure a few years ago, and it was a relief. I don't feel good about feeling that relief, but know that you're not alone. I'm so tired all the time. I'm sad and stressed, and I think I made too many mistakes in my career path. I don't know what I want to do, but it's not what I've done, or what I'm doing. My self-esteem has taken a complete dive. In sum, I don't like myself very much. I'm a career changer too. I know I have it in me to be successful, but I feel like more and more of a failure with all of the different experiences I've accumulated. It's like I'm not allowed to be proud of any of my victories, because the path isn't a straight line, if that makes sense. In any case, I just want you to know you aren't alone. I hope you find something you enjoy doing. Hey there carbon copy of myself. I have so many degrees that I don't use, but feel like I might be on the right path. With pursuing nursing. 
took me a long time to figure out that I'm a man of procedural work. I'm a creative, but I can't be one for work. I need to have Anz's path to completion. Took me a long time to figure that out about myself, but I'm crossing my fingers this is the right choice. Lots of variables, but there is a procedure to follow. I just started my bachelor's degree, and I'm really excited about it. I feel like I'm in the right place. Thing is, I miss my father so much these days, more than usual. We had a lot of common interests in the field I'm studying, and even though I'm surrounded by people who are just as passionate about this as me, it's really not the same. I miss his enthusiasm, our discussions and just him as a supporting father. Cancer sucks so hard. I'm so sorry to hear you lost your father. Cancer is a cruel and fickle bish. I can't begin to understand, but there's a place I enjoy called r slash pep talks with pops. Thank you for introducing me to this, it's so unbelievably wholesome. I might take some time to post there eventually. I'm trying really hard for my kids. They're young but I hope they understand I'm doing everything in my power to make things easier. It won't always be like it is right now. You know, that's how my mom was. I didn't really appreciate it growing up because my parents were divorced and my dad was better off financially and not strict making me go to bed at 8am until I was 15. But looking back on it, I really do see all the sacrifices and how hard my mom worked to give us a better life than she did. I miss her asking me what did you learn at school or how was your day. I'm sure they'll appreciate everything you've done as either a mother or father or whatever. If you try and show them love and compassion and understanding they'll appreciate it. Hey, thanks for taking the time to say that. I'm a father to four, including twins. We are coming up after a tough couple of years, almost there. The stress lately is killing me lately. I'm doing better in my career than ever, but I do miss the added security of my wife working she's had to quit to take care of the kids and distance learning during the pandemic. I'm in the home the least and exhausted when I'm home. Don't feel like I'm ever doing enough, but I just really hope as they get older, they understand it's always been for them. That I'm busting my ass now, so we can be a little more relaxed later. Nobody I ever meet is someone I would consider dating, but I still want the intimacy that comes with dating. On top of that, I hate when people start talking about their sex lives in front of me because I've not been on a date in nearly 2 years, let alone had anything exciting happen. It's that feeling of missing out on a whole slice of life that I don't seem to be able to get hold of. On the bright side, when I'm not thinking about this, I couldn't give a frick. I'm in this comment, and it scared me. Same here. I dislike all the current awards Reddit give out, the front page looks tacky and bad, like a second grade teacher marked poor work. Now, holy crap now my feed looks like ass, the front page or just even slightly popular posts getting bombarded with trinkets, it just looks freaking stupid and ugly, and with the increase of freaking badges to collect, you have the collectors who will post low effort spam slash crapisting, just to get idiots to stick them with some freaking little award. Hell you even get free ones now, just so people can brigade posts for free now. Gold was okay, it was to help run the servers, then they went from gold to plat slash gold slash silver, okay sure getting a bit more convoluted, but still within a sensible scope, but now Christ it is just awful. The silver and gold metals were fine. Nice even. You felt like, you actually affected a random stranger in a way. I think they tried making it more accessible for everyone in all sorts of niche ways but it just feels cheap and annoying. It's just a glorified upvote. I never liked silver, gold and plat were cool, silver just felt like a waste of money. But my god so many upvotes, it's not even special when you get one. As always there's the funny man that awards silver for this, very funny haha. Last night it occurred to me that I can't remember the last time I felt safe, hopeful, or happy. I have lost so much since covid, and any energy that wasn't spent on grief and anxiety has been spent on frantic efforts to avoid getting sick, and thus risking the very few people slash things I have left. And I'm so tired, and so scared, and so hopeless. Hey friend, the world is scary right now. These are very valid feelings, I'd assume you're in the US, but honestly just about everywhere is scary. We're all in this together, your feelings are very valid, and you're not alone. Thank you. 
Just that recognition really means a lot. I feel so lethargic lately when it comes to anything that needs effort. In the pandemic, my old school, where I was really happy shut down, and I moved to another school midterm, so I have like 20 different things to catch up on. I just turn of the McWin in class and space out. I'm just letting the schoolwork pile up and waiting for my impending doing. I don't want to disappoint both my parents, but I just feel like crap lately, and comic books and the internet are my only salvation haha. I think a lot of people are in this boat. I just finished my last graduate courses over the summer, and that's exactly what I did. Logged in, brought webcam up, and pretended to pay attention while I browsed the web. I literally could not muster the energy to engage in a 2 hour class. And while I used to be able to, to knock a 10 page paper out in a couple days, it took me weeks to cobble together a half assed 8 pager. The struggle is real. Chronic stress does a number on our ability to focus and can make us feel foggy mentally as well as sluggish slash fatigued physically. Hopefully your teachers go easy on you. I'm sure they're struggling too. I'm about to start graduate school tomorrow and I'm absolutely filled with dread at the very likely possibility of not being able to write and finish my assignments on time. I write at a glacial pace because of my perpetual brain fog and difficulty in stringing together coherent thoughts and sentences. I feel so foolish right now for thinking I could do this. I read my course syllabi today, saw the assignments and just had a good cry. I promise this is a serious reply. Ever since my early teens I've been in an imaginary relationship with a famous pop star. It's not a continuous one. I make up several different stories. When I have real life crushes he moves to the background. But I've been unlucky in love, so he owls way comes back. And I'm kind of afraid I'm a bit crazy. I'm in my mid 30s, you'd think I know better. I'm just lonely and want to be loved, but my real life crushes always end in misery and this imaginary man who could do so much better gives me imaginary time and attention. Made it our way to share this cause I'm really ashamed of it. I do function normally in day to day life, apart from this I'm really normal. This sounds a lot like maladaptive daydreaming to me. It's something I do too, and it's frustrating. I read that it's not uncommon for people who had early life trauma as a coping mechanism. You're not crazy. We are social creatures loneliness can be crippling. I would talk to a professional who can help you learn new healthier ways to cope as well as deal with the underlying issues. I'll read up about it. I don't have a childhood trauma as far as I'm aware, but I was pretty lonely as a teen and that wasn't easy so maybe that plays into it. At the moment it's much better I know I mention begging lonely in my post too, but it's not as bad as it used to be, plus it's just bad right now because of covid. I have no idea what I want to do with my life. I'm so afraid to go to college and get a job. I'm afraid I won't be successful and I will still love with my mom when I'm 23. Maybe it's just anxiety? I'm not sure. Sounds like you're roughly 16, 20, so I'm going to tell you a secret. There's no such thing as being an adult. You can act like an adult and people treat you like an adult, but there's no magical moment when suddenly everything makes sense and you understand everything and you have all of the tools you need to take your place in the world. We're all faking it. Every one of us. We don't know what we are doing. We are faking it and we are hoping nobody calls us on it. This is absolutely true. I'm 37 and a total mess. I have no idea what I'm doing. For example, every time I get a tax refund I think oh my god, it worked. I did it right. Every job I've ever gotten, retail mostly cause I'm not really good at much, I have been totally shocked. I have no idea at all what I'm doing, and am at the age where I now realize my parents had no idea what they were doing either. We are all winging it. Being alive is freaking weird. I don't remember when was the last time I slept a whole night without waking up in the middle of the night and the reason for that are fricked up nightmares and dreams about very personal stuff that I wouldn't ever admit to anybody other than a therapist. Today wasn't expecting from that and it was so bad I could squeeze my sweat out of my sheets. Paranoia and anxiety are slowly driving me crazy despite the fact that my life isn't even that bad anymore. I got out of poverty and toxic environment through some hard work and luck, and yet no amount of personal achievements makes my issues go away. 
My family thinks I'm ungrateful, spoiled child who doesn't know real problems, because I'm not a parent so in their mind I have no right to complain. My friends are tired of me venting to them about my life and all they want to do with me is partying. And also I can't seem to move forward from my last relationship which ended a few months ago. No amount of money I get makes me feel peace, and I'm sick of pretending it does. Everyone keeps telling me how much they wish they could improve their life like me but all these compliments make me feel even more fricked up for complaining about loneliness and crap. Lately a few cowalkers told me that exhaustion is getting more and more visible on my face and I feel like soon my mask of confident and friendly person will shatter completely and it will result in something bad. I need a hard reset, but I don't think I have balls to do that now. I know exactly what to do to not fall apart and all I need is patience. It's really simple, but simple doesn't mean easy. Have you tried keeping a dream journal? Sometimes when I get this way it helps me to write down the things that happened. If I don't like the way I reacted, or the thing that ended it, a lot of mine center around being attacked, and not being able to fight back, I'll rewrite the right ending. I hope you get a restful night. It bothers me, we live in a society that seems incapable of just letting people be. As in, no one can just express themselves without feeling like they have to qualify their statements to appease others. For example, I live in the SF Bay and follow a sub with a lot of people asking about the wildfires slash smoke. One person posted asking when the smoke is expected to clear saying they've managed quarantine by spending a lot of time outside, and now that the smoke makes it unsafe to spend time outside their mental health is depreciating. And then they followed it up by saying I know a lot of people have it much worse. It's frustrating that even needs to be said. Why does everyone have to one up someone else's pain and suffering? Or worse, shame. Someone for expressing their feelings by comparing them to the less fortunate. Just because others suffer a great deal doesn't mean your suffering doesn't also matter. I wish we could all be more compassionate and make room of all perspectives. Yeah this whole thing of incentivizing greater suffering or using suffering for attention is extremely fricked up. I'm so alone and depressed after breaking up with my GF. I still feel it was the right thing to do, but I have no friends and I'm trying to be okay with the thought that her friends likely dislike me now. I wish I had my old friends, but I fell out of touch with them when I started to struggle with depression and chronic pain. I'm just so tired. I feel pathetic. She called me weak, but I've been trying so much and so hard. I tried with her for 2 years, and yet that still the takeaway crap is just so hard.